Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus news update video I've still got loads of things that's happened this week that I want to share with you. So obviously we had the HasLab and some new figures leaked. It just meant that exactly that. There was so much to show you. Um, and I'm going to start off with yet again these incredibly garish, but loads of people seem to like these. They're commenting on them. Uh, the footwear and other clothing accessories from Irregular Choice. These are the last images I've got of them though. So this is a UK based designer um, and we've got some crazy boots. Now these ones I think, although they look crazy um are far more is the word wearable i don't even know if that's the correct word maybe not them but what i'm trying to say is that them first pair and indeed some of the ones i'm about to show you i feel that i would probably wear and not feel like the whole world is staring at me shall we say they've got some crazy designs i love the fact that in the inside it's all of the you know the battles from the back of the boxes from the generation one figures um obviously some of them are complete some of them are really out there whereas others are a little bit more subtle um, maybe that's not the right word none of them are subtle some of them are worse than the others i'm loving the fact obviously we've got the sound wave design there um and optimus prime on the front of that and yet we've got some more i don't know if they're called sneakers maybe high tops we'll have a look in a second um i think there's a few more yeah there you go they're, they're definitely not their shoes um they're taking the comic strips now i really like the look of them as well to be honest i don't think they're too out there i can definitely see them being worn at conventions and stuff and maybe them that's even better uh with of course all the box artwork um as the design on them really liking the look of them and as i say that's pretty much it for their brand for now unless they make anything else of course i'll share it with you right super seven also now released a transforms 86 japanese movie poster this is a thousand pieces this is amazing this is the poster that was used in japan uh, sorry the image of the poster used in japan for the 86 movie so slightly different to how we saw it in the rest of the world you've probably seen that picture before but if you're wondering where it is that is why it's the 1986 japanese movie poster and super seven are in fact as you can see releasing a thousand piece jigsaw with it this thing looks amazing to be honest i say this thing because it's not an official product uh, so for those of you who struggle to get the studio series uh, rise of the beast voyager class optimus prime this is um, from SS102 KO Project, sort of an MHS toys update for this figure with metallic silver deco, extra paint, a load of accessories, remade the trailer mode and added a little human former to save the day. So this is MHZ Toys MHM Supreme Commander. This actually is available on Show Z. I'll show you where you can get this in a second. So this is basically exactly that. It's a KO look of your Voyager class Optimus Prime. That's the abundance of accessories that he comes with. Uh, the details of it are it's 40 euros 42 us dollars um and it's pretty much as i say a carbon copy knockoff with updated and better um better accessories and paint apps than the original so there he is with some of his accessories these images by the way are from tformers.com you can also see these images on show z as well so there's with the blade both of them obviously there's with the um transmitter they in fact he's 20 centimeters tall so I think that's about right. I don't know if he's oversized now, I've just said that. Um, I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments if I've got the size right, guys. There's the um, alternate mode. Again, they tidied up all the back, which is great. Um, it looks a lot better. And because they've tidied it up, look, you can store the boosters, the accessories, the sword. You can store everything on it, which is great. This is the accessory. So you've got all of them. You've got all of them. All of these can be held in his hand and stored on the back, etc. in both modes, which you can see here. So we saw it on the back of the alternate mode. There it is on the back of the actual robot mode. And there, of course, is Noah in the suit. So you can do the, um, the scene where he's holding on to the back, which is, again, a great little addition. And there he is again with all of his accessories, loads of them. Right, moving on, we've got a few sightings. Uh, Rise of the Beast Collector Studio Series Wave 23 has been spotted at US retail, mainly in game stops, this one in particular in New York. Then we've got Retro Reissues G1 Soundwave have been found in Australia, Legacy Wave United Voyager Deluxe in Ireland, Legacy Evolution Medics has been spotted in Puerto Rico, and Legacy Story Studio Series Wave 22 in Taiwan. If you wonder where I get this from, on um, TFW 2005, they do regular updates like this. So it's worth checking out to find out if you're uh, getting, as I say, the figures that you want in the area which you live in. This is something that's really cool. Um, I can't obviously play the video. Some of you may have already seen it. I don't have Twitter or X or whatever it's called. So this is the original voice actor for Optimus Prime. 
um, from RID. And what he's done, and I love the fact that he says this isn't a paid promotion, he's just doing it for fun. So he voices in Optimus Prime's voice over the whole um, HasLab demo video for, of course, for Optimus Prime. And it's just brilliant. It's so good. And he's all, and as at the end, as I say, he says, let me get my words out, that um, it's not a paid promotion, but he's just there because he wants to back it. And he himself is a backer. So his, of course, name is Neil Kaplan. If you've got X or Twitter or whatever it's now called, you can check it out there. Or you can check the video out on TFW 2005 there where it is featured. Right. This is, again is something else that's amazing, but only available in Japan at the moment. This is, the, they've uploaded a Transformers HasLab Deathsaurus official mobile wallpaper. The wallpaper features Deathsaurus shooting his living metal destroying cannon, and it looks pretty much exactly like the HasLab figure. So I would have that as a background on my, or as a wallpaper, shall we say, on my mobile. I think it's great. Let me know in the comments if you like it as well. Right. And if you're lucky enough to be going to TF Nation in the UK in August, we've got another confirmed guest. There you can see Jack Lawrence will be there. So if you're heading to that event, you will be able to meet him in person, which is great. And that pretty much rounds up a little bit of the news, as I say, uh, the overflow from the week. So this is Show Z. This is some of their pre-orders. Again, you can check out the website. There's the Optimus Prime I was just on about. There's New Age's um, Tailgate and Wind Charger. This is the new Iron Factory Samurai Menasaur. Um, we've also got the Unicron, we've got uh, Franz Toys uh, Scourge. Then in a second, there's all the Kang figures. Um, and we've also got, you'll see in a second, there's Yolo Park Optimus Prime. We've also got Iron Factories, uh, Take on the Fallen, DNA Upgrade Kits. We've got the other New Age versions of Sea Spray. We've got, everything's on here, Missing Link Prime, Masterpiece Hoist, a complete array of loads of figures and on the sales section as well. So just a reminder, you can get pretty much everything on here apart from mainline studio series and generations figures. You can get all third party um, and again, even movie masterpiece and Takara products as well. So there you go, guys. Don't forget, I'll be doing the live 11 p.m. UK start tonight. Um, and I've just got so much going on with regards to reviews. Whether I'll get an actual figure review up today, I don't know, because I've got loads going on. But either way, we've got the DNA design upgrade kit for uh, Legacy Prowl. I've finally finished that. Um, and I should have another one of the gold Kangs done by the end of the weekend as well. As always, guys, take care.